Almighty God, Father of us all, we, your servants, turn to you for continuance of your blessings upon us. You who have spared us veterans from the grasp of our enemies, grant us a full understanding of your precious comfort. We thank you for the privileges of life and the blessings we enjoy through your graciousness in our country, the land in which we are given the freedom of speech, religion, and the pursuit of happiness. Assist us to know you better and the wisdom to knowledge you as the God of the universe and our idea. In your mercy, may we, the living, find our peace. Grant us from above this day the challenge of high endeavor, the beauty of a humble spirit, the strong courage and will, without exertion, to continue to glorify you, to praise you, and to love you to the end of time. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And her name is Kathy Gullivan. Thank you, Kathy. Bernard Go Bogey. He's a retired Sergeant First Class, United States Army. He served in Desert Storm. For generations, the men and women of America's armed forces have demonstrated their willingness to put country before self. Patriots who serve for the greater good, who don't seek glory or recognition or personal gain. And today we honor them. Today is their day. Our nation honors the contributions and sacrifices of the nearly 22 million veterans living today and all those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the name of liberty and justice. Today holds great historic and patriotic significance. The debt owed to the defenders of this great nation is ever present and it is imperative that on this day we take the opportunity to keep alive the memories, sacrifices and accomplishments of our nation's veterans. And it should be a day that we give appropriate thanks and recognition to those who have earned it. Today is not a day for veterans alone. It is a day for all Americans to be a part of because we all have a role to play in protecting liberty and freedom. Service members alone should not have to go at it without the support of a grateful nation. And your presence here provides meaningful proof that you appreciate the fact that the freedom we enjoy today is not free. Every citizen, each person, here today has a role to play in carrying the, the legacy and burden of freedom. And each citizen must work to ensure that America fulfills its promise to provide our veterans with the benefits and entitlements they earned in the Okay, in closing, I want to remind everybody that uh, there's going to be a light lunch provided by the VFW Post 1062 after the ceremony. It's across the railroad tracks. And uh, I also want to let you know.